Hey everybody, y'all know me and Musical.ly. Today is a very special wrap it up episode because today the, it's it's a little new today. Today it's a, a regular old rapper. Today we have an alternate slash indie artist, Paxson. Chase, say hey. Hey, how you guys doing today? Thank you for having me. No problem, man. Thanks for coming. I am super duper excited to interview you. So why don't you introduce yourself? Um, my name is Paxson Chase. I'm uh, alternative indie artist from um, New Jersey, uh, Trenton, New Jersey. I've been doing this for about um, wow, a couple years now. I started like really rapping, rapping at eight years old, but I kind of changed my um my style around I want to say nineteen. That's when I started to like do the whole alternative indie because I felt like it was different. You know, it was like something that not a lot of people do. Oh, all right, I see, and I like your change from rap to alternate indie. I, I really, I really like that. No, thank you, thank you very much. No problem, and I, and I'm totally on the same belt because that's me. I changed from pop to rap, so I completely understand. And I feel you. No, that's awesome. Mhm. Yes, sir. All right, let's get to the action. All right, so. First, we're just going to go back into the past, just a couple of years into the past, and um, I know you kind of a little history. So um, how did the journey with music start for you? Um, The very first time I like really put out my very first song, I think I was in, I was in high school. I was a junior. I had to be around my junior year. Um, I was working with someone else. It was like a group thing. And um, we first put our first song out. It was... It was okay. I wouldn't say it was horrible, but it was it was okay, you know. Um uh people liked it, people didn't, you know, the usual how it usually is. But um I don't know, it was just something that I, I just clicked to. I mean, I've been it was like all I knew was music and for me to actually start making it was something different for me. So I uh I continued it for a little bit and um then I went like on my own and I started releasing my own music and uh, um I was still at the time doing like regular rap, just regular rap stuff. And I was okay with it for a little bit, but I just felt like I was kind of like stuck in the mesh with everyone else. Cause everyone else was doing the same thing, you know, just rap, 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 rap. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought, you know, maybe I should do something different. Um, uh, let me switch up the sound. And that's when I, uh, um, made my first, uh, alternative project, which I called, um, walk with me. And, um, that clicked so much and it gave me, a platform to be so different that I uh, I just had to take it, and ever since then I've just been doing that. Oh wow, man! And it's super amazing how you how that change really affected your music career and made it better. Yeah, it really did. Because I feel like if I was still doing rap, um, I probably wouldn't be in the position I'm in now. I mean, I love rap; it's where I started and how I got into the music business. But at the end of the day, um. There's so much more different types of music out there. Why um, be trapped with one? Like, I still go back to rap every now and then on certain songs, but most of the time I'd rather just do, I try to do anything. Like, I've done rock, I've done soft rock, I've done bedroom pop. I'll try to do anything just because there's certain people that won't listen to, like, alternative indie, and there's certain people that won't listen to rap. So if I'm in the soft rock genre, there's going to be those certain people that listen to that and be like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check them out. So I always decided to like, you know, be everywhere because it's different. It's like fun and, you know, you won't be stuck in a box too long. That's good, man. I definitely feel you there. I definitely feel you there. And since you went outside the box, I made you a better artist. So I really do appreciate that you did that. Yeah, it really has because, um, it, you know, it opens the door. I mean, you open it to your eyes for a lot of things in the world because you're, you know, you're rapping, you're talking about different things. And I've met a lot of different artists because of it um, from different genres and different places of the world. So, you know, I mean, like you're in like Houston. I never thought I would be talking to anyone from Houston. You know what I mean? So like music has really like, yeah. you know, broadened my spectrum. Mm-hmm, definitely. And that's the same kind of view we have on this podcast. That's why we expanded to different to different kind of music that's that's kind of like the basic per, a perspective of, of a podcast of our podcast at least so yeah that's that's, that's basically our perspective yeah that's awesome to have though that's really awesome to have a, a like a broad spectrum mm-hmm. that's really good man i mean yeah i totally agree mm-hmm. 
I really been loving the broader view of things and the broader of genres. It really helped this podcast a lot. Same way it helped yeah, your I, career. Yeah, I, I've like I've learned that because I, I know I know a couple artists who are like you know still doing the whole one genre thing, and it's a new world now. I mean, no one wants to hear the same thing over and over again. You'll just get lost mm-hmm. in the in, in the fray. So that's why I decided yeah. to just do a lot of things differently. That's good, man. That's really good. That's fantastic. You keep at it. You keep grinding. Thank you. It's really helping you. you a lot. No problem there. <laughs> Oof. Oh my god. Um, my brain's fried. Like it keeps doing this. So, what was the trigger for the major design to get into music? Um, just to, well, most of my music is about. I talk about a lot, a lot about like depression and struggles in life. And um, you know, relationship issues and stuff like that. I um, I mostly talk about that type of stuff because I know that there are people out there who feel like they're alone in certain situations. So with me doing that, I feel like it shows them that they're not alone. I um, I went through my own issues, and I I made sure that I I was like able to tell my own story, but make it so relatable that people forget that I'm talking about me sometimes. Like, you know, it's like, oh, wait, I, I did that too. Wait, okay, so maybe I'm not alone. Um, I I have five idols, um, music-wise, that um basically got me into the industry, that got me wanting to do music and, like, helped me with my own issues. And that's um Kid Cudi, Michael Jackson, XXX, um, Hobson, and 50 Cent. So they all, like, and you can, even by that list, you can tell how different all five of those artists are collectively. So they, um they put me in a predicament in my own way for me to say, you know what? I can do anything I want and I'm not alone in my own situation. So I want other people to feel Mm -hmm. the same way. So that's, that's why that's what kind of like really sparked me to get into this, um, especially this genre, because I mean, most rap, yeah, most rap has like deep tones, but it's not like, it's not, you know what I mean? I don't even know how to explain it, but Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I definitely feel you there, and you know, I come from a website where it's all about rap, so I definitely, yeah. I definitely feel that. And I especially love your kind of music; it's unique and different, and it's really incredible that that change over. And you made your music so unique and different from everybody else's. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. I really appreciate it, and I really love it. I mean, it it what makes music so so amazing. Yeah, I feel like I I think it's really dope to um to just I mean at the end of the day this is like how you know people like just people I don't know, okay I got okay, okay, here we go at the end of the day people see it as like you know it's just music you know I'm just an artist mm-hmm. whatever the case may be and I'm not like super big I'm not like out there kind of Lamar or like on billboards or anything like that so I'm a normal person to most people but then there are those few people that actually see me as packed and chase instead of like who I really am so when they see me as that like that makes me feel really good because like it's not like oh my god I listen to your music it's like hey you really helped me through something so thank you and I feel like that's what we should do as human beings we should just like always try to be better for each other and you know make people feel good and not be like dickheads or whatever the case may be and because like there's a lot going on in the world so i feel like if we just spread a little bit of love it'll be a little bit better yeah man i couldn't agree more true shit there definitely 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 really i agree (laughs) (laughs) all right man since you showed big goodbye um What's your big inspiration? Like, what inspired you to get into alternate and indie? Um, well, I never really sat there and woke up one day and said, I'm going to try alternative indie. I was, um, I, I was uh, trying to experiment with different sounds at one point, and it was horrible. When I tell you that, it was, like, ear bleeding. <laughs> like, it was bad. <laughs> and um, my friend was like, bro, just just stop. Like, just go back to what you were doing and you're doing fine with that. And I took that as a challenge. Like, I really took that a little bit personal. I was like, ah, I forget you, man. Like, I'm going to try it now just because you said I couldn't. And I, I, um, I remember just like, I stopped listening 
to regular music. Like, I don't want to say regular, but like the music that I was listening to at the time. And I just like viewed other artists that were like, that didn't have a big fan base or didn't have as many views as certain artists. And um, I just kept listening to them. And I'm, uh, eventually I was able to say, okay, so if I do it my way, I had to like obviously make my own sound, of course, because you can't just go around doing everyone's sound. And um, the very first song that I did with my own version was um, a song called I Want to Kill Myself, But Now Not the Right Time. And I I played with that a little bit and I played with the sounds for that. And it was the first song that I can say that I actually tried to sing on. And if you ask me, the song is horrible. But I mean, it's like one of my most known songs to this day. And it's actually about to go gold eventually uh, soon. So so since then, like I've just kept doing that and bettering my own sound. Mm. All right, I see. And that's really good what you're doing. That is really good. You keep at that. I can see it's really having a great impact. Yeah, and um, and that's like all you can really ask for, you know, especially as an artist, is just to have people, you know, review and, and actually like your art. I mean, you're gonna get the people that don't like it regardless. No matter how good you are, you could be the greatest person on the planet. There's gonna be someone that doesn't like it. But like it's just those few mm-hmm. that like it that make that make you keep going, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I definitely do. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That's how it is with this podcast. So I so that's definitely relatable. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So we'll kind of go a little alternate. So, um, what would happen if you were not a musician? Like, like, like who'd be? It. I, that's funny because I just um I I had an interview like last week and so he asked me the same question. I don't know. Um, music is literally all I know. I've start I started like rapping at eight years old. I was doing comedy rap because like. An eight year old being a miracle <laughs> with like actual actual substance is like beyond the world. But um I started like really getting into music at eight and now I'm twenty two. I'm gonna be twenty three next month. I I don't know what I would do. Like i music is literally my life. It's literally all I've done. Um I don't really have any other talents, you know what I mean? Like I can't even see myself doing anything else. So if Tomorrow I woke up and I couldn't do music. I I I have no clue. Like I have no clue. Like, <laughs> I I wonder that question a lot because you should always have a backup plan. But I just don't have one right now. Like I don't have one. Hopefully I will eventually. But right now I just I just got to keep doing music and hoping. Um, that's it. That's really all I have for that question. Every time I get that question, I'm just like, ah, oh, crap. I'm just stuck with it. <laughs> Oh, I see. And I definitely feel you. And one of the backup plans I suggest is, I know you heard this a lot, but what about college? College is a nice backup. I actually went to college. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a college dropout. I, uh, I went to college and I just didn't know what to study. At first I was studying music and I was, and I, it was like such, it was so backwards to me. I was like, wow, I'm studying something that I know so well, but I stuck with it for about a year. And um, I dealt with some issues where I couldn't go back because I was like dealing with my own mental issues. And I haven't gone back since. I was gonna go back for business and marketing, but then the whole pandemic hit and now I'm just locked up inside. So, well, um, hopefully I'll get back to that point. But right now I'm just working and just doing music right now. Oh, I see. Got you, I see. But I can really understand the whole not knowing. Most people, though, most people about your age or like younger than you don't really know. So I understand. Yeah. Completely. I totally get that. It's hilarious, but uh, but I also understand. Yeah, I mean, it's like I was, um, you know, you were forced to go into school for however. Many years. I was like, well, I me, mean, it's your choice. <laughs> and then at that point, yeah. you never. <laughs> You never like had a choice of what to learn in school, and now they're giving you a choice what to pick, and it, it's hard. It's like a real, it's pressurous. So I, I don't know yet. I'm mm-hmm. still like I want to go back to college. I do because like you know it's always good to have a backup plan, like we said. But mm-hmm. you know, it's so many things you could pick, and you don't know what you're gonna actually be good at, and you don't want to have a a boring job where you hate. Like that's my biggest fear is just having a job that I hate, but like I have to keep it. You know what I mean? So. 
I I don't know. <laughs> mm, I see. Got you, but I hope you do find your interest soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. And until then, you're really doing amazing as an alternate indie artist. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And happy early birthday, because your birthday is uh, in February. So happy early birthday, by the way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm getting older and older as the time goes. I'll only unmute to say this. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate that. Limo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shadows. Oh, my God. All right. What were we? Oh, right. Uh, so what is your dream collaboration? To work with any of my idols. I mean, well, obviously I can't work with Michael Jackson or X, but um, I can see myself somehow uh, working with Hobson uh, 50, mostly Kid Cudi. I feel like um, he is something so amazing. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I, would, I would love to work with Kid Cudi or any of those because he's, he's just an amazing artist. And as they all are, obviously. I mean, RIP to the, to the two that passed, but... I feel like me, Kid Cudi, or even well, Cam, but even X, I would say, like, um, I I can see me, especially the genre or the way that I do music, I can see me doing something with them at the same time. Hmm. Good choices. Good choices. I see. In my mind, I thought you were gonna say like Twenty One Twenty One Pilots or like Billie Eilish, but uh, good choices. I never heard of them, but um, I thought you were gonna I, say like those two. I love Twenty One Pilots. I do. I mean, I I listen to Billy Eilish, but Twenty One Pilots. I do love them, but it's just the way, I, like XXX Tentacion and Kid Cudi. I just like I don't know, man. They're amazing. I listen to them all the time, and I just I know I could do something amazing with them. I just don't know how I would do it. Obviously, it's not happening no time soon, or maybe ever. But I would love to have that happen. Hmm. Nice, man. I could definitely see you collaborating with them. I could see you. It'd be a banger. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Um, and I'm a little excited to see this answer. So, have you ever gone through a writer's block or a music block, as, may, as some people say? But most people say writer's block. So, have you gone, ever gone through a writer's block? I'm actually going through one right now as we speak. I'm... I just released my last project, um, Pink Two, in October, and I'm releasing the the the, ah, ooh, the deluxe um, the 17th of February. And um, I need one more song. I just need one more song, and I cannot get this song written. I don't know why. Um, it's just not coming out, uh, and I'm actually losing time because tomorrow is the first. So I got a uh, what 16 days to figure it out. So, but. Um, my writing pattern, the way I create, um, is really different from other artists. I don't just, I can't sit down and write. I have to, every song I've ever made is freestyle. So basically I'll just get a beat, whatever the case may be. And I'll just go off the dome and then like, I'll pick parts that are, that's good. That's good. I don't really like that. Let's take that away. And then I'll write from there. And if I'm stuck again, I'll freestyle it, but I'll like read those notes again. So it's like, it's always been a big puzzle to me. So um right now i just can't get anything good for the final song for the deluxe version so i'm just i've kind of been just chilling just like laid around just doing going to work or whatever the case may be until um something comes to me hopefully something will eventually because i know i'm on a time crunch but mm-hmm. right now i'm just kind of chilling with it oh i see got you okay you're in a really horrible writer's block this is one of the worst i've ever seen <laughs> yeah yeah i mean you kind of get used to it at some point, but uh, it happens every now and then. But um, I I've learned forcing it doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I you just gotta go with the flow, hope, and just hope that I I just hope that I can get it in time. Because if I don't, then I'm gonna have to figure something out from there. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And if you're looking for some inspiration, you know, you're in a you're in a Discord server right now where there's a lot of musicians. So if you're looking for some ideas, you might want to talk to some of these musicians. 
just a little idea. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all right. Oh my god. I hate when my brain's fried. I hate it. You know, sometimes when you when you like soup down, you can't think of anything. Your brain literally fries. Oh yes, definitely, definitely every time. <laughs> I'm, I'm my brain's fried almost like two times in a day. I, I I if I'm not at work, I'm mostly sleep or like playing with my dog. And I've been home so much because of the quarantine that she doesn't want to play with me anymore. So it's just music and just whatever. I'm glad somebody understands. <laughs> Most people don't. Yeah. Glad you do, though. So in, like, one word, how would you describe the music that you make? Like, in one word or, like, a sentence or, like, whatever. How, how would you describe the music that you make? If I can say one word, I would say, um, if I can describe my music in one word, I would say, I don't want to say, I would say sad. It's, it's sad music. Not all the time. I do try to like, um, go more upbeat in tempo. Uh, I actually just released a video for a song that's like more rappy than alternative. I, um, if I can have a sentence, it's for, it's for the people. It's like. It's music for people who are alone, who think they're alone. Um, I, that's like my main mission is to let people know that it's okay to not be okay because everything will eventually be okay. Like that's something like I say to myself all the time when I go through my own issues. So um, when I think about like what I should call my music, I don't want to say I'm a sad artist, but it kind of is sad music. You know, it's, it's, um, mm-hmm. It is. Um, I, I when I especially when I venture into the lo-fi genre and people hear it, they're like, "Yeah, this is sad music." Um, my alternative indie fans, they, they, it's just sad music. I mean, sometimes, I mean, my other rap songs that I have on certain projects where I'm just like really rapping or going hard and giving out bars or whatever the case may be, that's different. You know, that's a different. That's I don't even want to. That's like a different genre. It's not usually what I do. It's just kind of just say that you know I can I can still go with the best of them. You know what I mean? But I, I choose not to. Mm, I see he got you. I see. Yeah, I can see the results with Billy Eilish. I can definitely see the resemblance. Oh, well, thank you. That's, she's an amazing artist, man. She's a. I love Billy Eilish so much. Oh, so now you like her. Like- <laughs> I've always liked her. I've always liked her. It's just, I feel like she's so overplayed, you know, like she's, like people play her so much, it kind of like, kills the substance for it because when she was first coming out i loved her and then like i heard her everywhere 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 it was like i i, I don't even want to i don't want to like hear her every day oh come on okay <laughs> i can definitely okay not gonna lie i totally agree <laughs> i totally agree all right time for something exciting you like excitement i love excitement Good. All right. So, usually with a rapper, it would be wrapping up, but you're not a rapper. You're an alternate indie artist. So, instead of that, you do a little performance. Okay. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. I'm surprised. All right. Um. Do I just pick a random song, or I just, or like one of mine? Never. Um, wow. Huh. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. I'll do one of mine. Just to, I wasn't prepared to do this today. You got me off guard. That, that, this is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting very much. Oh, my God. Oops. Should, should I tell, I should have told you earlier. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think off the top of my head now. Huh. Yeah. All right. Um. What song should I do? I even I don't even know what song I should do at this point. Um. Okay. You know what? I'll do something off my um last project, Pink Two. Uh, which is out now for all listeners. You guys should definitely go listen to it. And um, the deluxe comes out. I think I said the seventeenth. I'm really bad with dates, so we're gonna hope I was correct. 
Uh, this one is called um, Friends. It's actually very short. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Oh, better yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got you got me like really excited. I'm trying to figure it out now. I'm going to do Sober. I really enjoy Sober. So here we go. I want this to be over. I don't want to be sober. I want this to be over. I don't want to be sober. She told me she loved me forever. She told me we grow old together. She told me she loved me forever. She told me we grow old together. And she lied. 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 Yeah. 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 And she lied, she lied, she lied, she lied, she lied. I want this to be over. I don't want to be sober. I want this to be over. I don't want to be sober. This is my favorite part. Where we lay in the grass and we stare at stars. But don't tell me you love me because we come too far. And I know how this ends. Yeah, we'll just grow apart. Yeah, we'll just grow apart. This is my favorite part. Where we lay in the grass and we stare at stars. Don't tell me you love me because we come too far. And I know how this ends. Yeah, we'll just grow apart. We'll just grow apart. I'll be right here where it all began. Yeah. And I knew we should have stayed friends. Stay friends. I don't want to do this again. But I don't want to be alone tonight. So can you call my phone one time and tell me to come home for the night? And we act like nothing's wrong. Yeah. And we act like everything's all right. I want this to be over. I don't want to be sober. I want this to be over. I don't want to be sober. Um, I hope you like it. <laughs> wow. Nice job. Nice job, man. Thank you. Thank you. That was really off guard. I really, I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Yeah, man. That's fantastic. And I'm super surprised of your streams. I heard you got like over 300,000 streams or like 5,000 streams per month, I mean, per month or something like that. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, I actually do pretty good. Um, one of my main songs is um, about to get half a million. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Um, it's slowly happening, but it's happening. So I'm just going to. Just wait, you know, just just let it mm -hmm. do what it does. And when it happens, I can't wait. I can't wait for it to happen now. Well, man, congrats on the streams. I'm super happy and proud of you. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. No problem. And thanks for coming. I'm, I'm just, I, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I hate that. It's okay. It happens all the time. Thanks. I meant to say thanks for coming and thanks for giving us a wonderful performance. Thank you so much. I mean, we, we were playing tag for so long trying to get me on here, so I'm just happy it actually happened, you know? Yeah, that was the worst part of meeting you was that we were playing tag because we said it was Thursday, then we said it was Friday, and then I, and then because, because of our stupid time zones, we couldn't really, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't even realize we were in different time zones. That's something I should have asked from the jump. That was my fault, and I apologize for that. Yeah, I probably should have made the timing like clear. Like I should have said, um, I should have said, for example, two four p.m. Central Time. I should have like made it like in bolt or something. Yeah, but it's okay. I mean, it happens all the time, and I I just thank you for like being cooperative. Because most people would be like, ah, fuck it, like I'm not doing it. So, thank you so much for being cooperative. No problem, man. I'm that kind of person. It's just me. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I'm very calm too. I was I, honestly every time I would forget or like the time would go by, I'd be like, oh crap, because I was actually ready um yesterday, and then like I, I was obviously an hour earlier than you. So when I was ready, you 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 obviously weren't because you weren't you know not nowhere near the time, and then you were ready and I wasn't nowhere the time. That's when I was like, something's not right here. That's when I asked at that point because I'm like, we're both like we're both <laughs> ready at the right time. It was, mm -hmm. it was hilarious. It was hilarious to me personally, but mm -hmm. you know, shit happens. Life is life. You know, you got to keep going. Yeah. And just thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. 
No problem, man. And we can actually mark this on my little checklist for having ultimate slash indie star. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, I was happy to be here. It was awesome. And I'm definitely gonna um uh pay more attention to your Discord and like listen to your podcast more now. Thank you. And by the way, when when this drops, could you get have a little promotion, like maybe advertise a little bit, tell your friends, go check out this blah blah blah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That's that's always the plan. Just um, I, I usually post it on my Instagram. That's what I usually use the most. So I'll definitely be, you'll definitely see it there. Oh yeah, I forgot you do have an Instagram. I forgot I didn't even t- I didn't even click on it. I'm sorry, I forgot you have one. No, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just follow me on Instagram. I definitely follow back every time, and I'm I'm always um eager to share other people's art and stuff so like if you have anything you want me to share or repost just send it to me and i'll definitely do it oh cool that's really nice man yeah i i i'm really big on i really believe that we should all you know like artists should help artists you know what i mean so whether Mm -hmm. it's your podcast or your music i'm always down to help no matter what it is Oh uh, man, you remind me so much of some of the artists in this Discord. Discord, you, you remind me so much of Psycho Puppet. You don't know who he is, but he's almost kind of like you, except he's a he's a written slash battle rapper. Oh, wow, that's dope. That's really dope to hear. Um, I'm actually gonna join your Discord too. I forgot to do that. I think I just did it already. Hey, yeah, you are on the Discord. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, so. These I'm artists still- are insane. Yeah, I'm still slowly learning how to use this, so like, just bear with me. I'm sorry. That's fine. I completely understand. Most people that I tell them to get a Discord, they don't know how the hell they're supposed to use Discord, so I understand. Yeah, I've already had it because my friend he had a Discord, and you know he wanted like people to join it, so I made it just to join him. But I never actually had to like use it. This is the second time I've actually had to use it. So, like, I'm still, like, rocky and stuff. Like, I'll still call my friend, like, hey, man, how do I get the mic to work on this? And he's like, we went through this. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, like, yeah, I'll, um, but, yeah, I'm always down for support. Definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, hit me up whenever. And for any artist out there that needs feature, I literally can do, like, anything. Just because I do alternative indie, I can do so much more. So, definitely hit me up for a feature or whatever the case may be. Nice, 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 cool. All right, <laughs> I feel a little tippy. All right, we're just about winding down. So, is there any last words you'd like to say? Any advice to kids out there? Any shout outs? Um, n- not really. I mean, shout out to like all my friends that helped me get here. Um, they're also great artists like Loverboy Kai, um, Sob. Those are great artists from different parts of the world. Uh, check out Pink 2. Definitely check that out because I put my heart and soul into that one. So I really hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and just for the kids out there or anyone who like wants to do music, you could literally do whatever you want. Like it doesn't even matter what age it is. Um, just do you. Um, and forget. And you're gonna have whether you're the best or the worst. You're gonna have people that like it and people that hate it. So honestly, just continue to do you, and it'll all happen the way it's supposed to happen. Nice, nice advice, man. Definitely listen to this, man. Definitely do. If you're not listening, Thank then you're idiots. <laughs> Thank then you so much. Idiots. No problem. And y'all All out right. there, you guys are watching. Guys, make sure you check out Pax's music. And if you don't listen to his music, you're either deaf, stupid, or you don't have a brain. Make sure you <laughs> oh, check out his Instagram. And check out his new album and be looking for his next album or it's an EP, I forgot. But watch out for his new project coming out late in February. Yep, it's the it's the deluxe version of my last album. So um definitely check that out. Um all social media is Pax and Chase, so it's really not hard to find. Nice, nice, nice. And make sure don't forget us, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Guys, check it out. Just recently got a new awesome. episode. Make sure you guys do that. All of us is Wrap It Out Podcast. That's our Facebook, Instagram. So it's the same thing. Just Google Wrap It Out Podcast and you'll find it. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, man, thanks for coming.
All right, y'all. There. See you guys very soon. Love y'all. Have a great rest of your day. And see y'all later. Bye.